is a makeup tutorial on the makeup I am wearing right now. I'm actually about to go out to dinner with my husband and I filmed this originally. I was going to do it as a get ready with me, but I like the way that it came out so much and it's really different than anything that I have done before. I put false lashes on for the first time and I have this bold berry lip and I did not smoke out my eye. So things are getting crazy. So this is a kind of new makeup look, different than anything I've done on my channel thus far. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Hey, hi. I already prepped my skin using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Under Eye Cream and the Bobbi Brown Face Base. And then I pulled my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer out of my drawer. I used to love this primer and I still do. It kept my makeup looking great all night. And then per usual I am filling in my lines on my forehead using the Amazing Cosmetics Line Filler and Primer. This is the most effective line filler that I have tried. And then, again, per usual, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More on my cheeks and my chin where my pores are just a little bit bigger. And then I am using the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer, and I'm just going to put it on the places where I'm going to put highlighter later. If you like a really radiant complexion, you could put this everywhere, but I have oily skin, so I'm just going to keep it on the spots where I usually put primer instead of putting it everywhere. And then for color correcting my dark circles, I am using my favorite peach side of the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo Pen and my Japanesque 910 brush. I really like how this counteracts the dark circles and adds some brightness at the same time and you only have to use one product so there's no caking. And then I'm going in with the Revlon Airbrushed Effect Foundation. I believe it's in the shade Natural Beige, but I will leave it in the description box below. This is actually the first time I have used this foundation, and I really liked it. I know it looks a little bit orange right here, but I think that is just the camera. And as you saw from the intro, when it was all said and done, it ended up looking great. But I really do like this foundation. It did last all night and looked great all night. And I thought the coverage was really good, and I loved it with the um, Makeup Geek Foundation Stippling Brush. And then I'm priming my eyelids using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. If you've seen my video videos before, you know I love this product for priming my eyelids, and I'm making sure to get it in the inner corner. And then I'm using the Dior Star Concealer on my dark circles, and then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for the rest of the triangle, and then also for highlighting down the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the cupid's bow, the chin and then the rest of the triangle mixing the color 20 and 25 together um, underneath the eyes. Color 20 is on the rest of it and then of course blending it out with the dampened beauty blender and taking it all the way into the sides of my nose to make sure that it doesn't look like there's a shadow there so that my nose doesn't look too wide and then I always make sure it's on the inner corner. And then I just ran the Beauty Blender underneath my cheekbones to put the excess concealer there and adds a highlighted effect and then it also tones down the color of the foundation a little bit. And then I ran the Real Technique sponge that I dampened, of course, all over the foundation because I thought I got just a little bit heavy handed in my application. And then I'm going to set the concealer directly on my dark circles using the e.l.f. High Definition Setting Powder and I will also run that on my eyelids. And then for the rest of the triangle and the rest of the concealer, I'm mixing these two shades together, the peach shade and the yellow shade, and putting that all on the uh, concealer, and that will give an additional highlighted effect. I'm filling in my eyebrows per usual using the Cello Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe, as well as the Anastasia Brow Gel in the shade Brunette. So I will tell you that I managed to delete the part of the video where I used the bronzer, blush, and highlight, but I still want to put this video up because it is a different eye and lip look. I'll leave all the information in the description box, but it was pretty standard products that I've used in other videos. I've already covered my eyelid with the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee, and now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Vanilla, and this is a shimmery vanilla shade. The Wet n Wild one is matte, and so I'm just working this in to the inner corner and the inner third of the eye for highlighting. And then we are going to define the crease with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in the shade Medium Deep. This is also the same bronzer I used on my face. 
and this is the Sigma E35 brush. So you want to build it up to the intensity that you like, but this is a nighttime look, so I probably went back in about four times to get more color, and I wanted to make sure it was on the inner corner of my eye, so go all the way from the outside edge and then all the way to the inner portion at, like I am here to make it a more dramatic nighttime look. And I'm just working this color into the crease and then also above the crease, alternating between windshield wiper motions and small circular motions. And then I am highlighting my brow bone with the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. This is the same highlight I used on my face. And then instead of smoking out my eye, I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo and my Sigma Inner Corner Brush to apply it to my lower lash line. And this will just give our eyes a brightened effect instead of a smoky effect. And then I'm using this new Revlon Skinny Liner to create a small line on my upper lash line. I really liked this eyeliner. It was very easy to work with and you can do a thin or a thicker line. And I'm just going to extend this line just a little bit beyond my lid, but not in a big wing or anything like that. Just a little flick. And then I'm adding drama by making sure that this area is defined as well. And then I got super bold and I decided to use false lashes and I had to sit around and wait for the glue to get tacky. And when it finally did, I got those lashes on and I was so proud of myself. Now, as you can see in this video, I forgot to put mascara on first, which I did put mascara on first on the other eye, but I didn't film that eye. So of course I forgot it on this eye, but I did manage to get the lash on and I was super proud of myself. So then I went in with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I really, really like this mascara and it's not as clumpy as the Better Than Sex Mascara. And then for my lower lash line, I'm using the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. I really like the small wand that's on this brush. And then for lip liner, I'm using Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the shade Rose. And I'm going to very carefully line my lips with this liner, taking my time to make sure I don't make it a hot mess. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it all in with the lip liner to make the look last longer because I am going to dinner. And then I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Gloss, and I forget the color, but I'll leave it below. Cherry something, I believe. And I'm just putting that right on top of the liner. I thought this lip gloss was so pretty. And then because I'm a false eyelash professional and I know what I'm doing, I fixed the liner on the band so it was less noticeable. And then I set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and that is it. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All the information for everything I use to create this makeup look will be in the description box below, so be sure to check that out, along with all the links to my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Facebook. So go follow me on one of those social sites, or all of them, if you have all of them. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! They are in the blue containers like this, and these are really, really great products. If you read the packaging, it says that it's like a nightly night cream, but to me, these are masks.